Hey guys, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com, the US Tech Channel. Today we'll be looking at the Galaxy S4. We're going to root it. This is the AT&T version. However, any of the Qualcomm variants should uh, be able to use the same method, including Sprint, Verizon, T-Mobile, and Cricket Wireless. Alright, if we go over to XDA Developers, we see that uh, DJRBLISS, uh, D Junior Bliss, made a root exploit and he published it. Uh, you can download the exploit on this link right here. First, you're going to want to extract the contents of the zip file. Uh, we downloaded it and stored it in a location where we could find it. Then we went ahead and extracted all the files. You'll see that it has all the ADB files uh, that you'll need to execute this. It says if you're using Windows, ensure you have the latest Samsung USB uh, drivers available. Head over to the Samsung site. Basically, you can load up any version of the Samsung Galaxy S4 and go ahead and go to the downloads uh, section. We'll post a link to that in the comments section below and the thread that I'll be uh, making as well. Third, enable USB debugging mode on your device. So you want to use the drop down, uh, go into the settings. Go to more and about device. Keep on clicking the build number. Two steps from being away. One step away from being a developer. Developer mode has been enabled. Back out. Click developer options. Go ahead and enable USB debugging mode and then you can exit out of that. Connect your device to your PC via the USB. If you're using Windows, navigate to the extracted directory and execute the run.bat. Approve the key from your device if it asks. Let's execute the run.bat. Make sure this is from the extracted files. Press any key to continue. Okay. Exploit complete. Press enter to reboot and exit. The prompt has gone away and now our device is rebooting. One of the great things I'll be using is Titanium Backup to back up all my settings on my applications and to freeze anything that I don't want running on this device. Let's go into the Play Store. Download Root Checker. At this point you can disconnect your USB port. Let's open this up. Let's agree. Verify root access. And we'll give it root access this time only. Congrats, this device has root access. So there's more to this. Maybe in the future we'll make an unroot video uh, if you guys are interested in that. See that custom unlock right there? Some people are also interested in removing that. 
So I'll go ahead and make a video about that as well. For more information on this device and more, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. This lets me continue to make videos just like this. Thanks a lot.